Welcome back to lesson two of my series on how to fly in acro mode FPV using FPV Freerider. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to show you my settings. I went over these in the first video. Default settings and throttle zero at bottom. Let's go ahead into the desert track. And I'm in acro mode, low rates, and the FPV camera. In the last lesson, we talked about using the throttle to manage your altitude. And we did that in a hover. But the thrust vector of the copter changes as you pitch forward and back. And we can see this if I go into the third person view. Let me just turn the copter slightly. No. If I turn it sideways and then pitch forward to fly forward, you can see that it tilted forward, obviously, right? And as it tilts forward, the thrust it's putting out goes from pointing straight down to pointing diagonally behind it. And as a result, there is less thrust going down because some of that thrust has been redirected to push it forward. And what that means is that as you pitch forward and back, you need to adjust your your throttle to maintain your altitude. And that's what we're going to work on in this exercise. So what I want you to do in this exercise is take off just like before. I'm going to throttle up and I'm going to just start to climb. And as you do that, next, pitch forward just slightly. Just Now that's even too much there. Let me just reset that. That's even more than I would like you to do. I'm going to throttle up. As I start to climb, I'm going to pitch forward just the tiniest bit, and I'm going to start moving. What I want you to do is continue to maintain altitude using the throttle, but the hover point will be slightly different depending on how far forward or back you're pitched. So you can't just memorize that your hover point is 39% on the stick or whatever. You have to dynamically determine the hover point in flight as you're flying. Now you'll notice I raised the throttle just slightly to fly over these mountains and I'm continuing to fly now. I've sort of flown out of the out of the park. I can't really tell what's going on very well. So I'll just reset and I'll do it again. I'll take off by raising the throttle and then I'll pitch forward just a bit to start to fly forward and I'll continue to maintain altitude. Now, if you find yourself moving too fast, pitch back. You'll need to adjust the throttle as you do that to continue to maintain altitude. Let me just um, let me just reset here. You'll notice that if I find a good perfect hover point, let me try to find a good nearly perfect hover point. Okay, there my altitude is just about right. If I pitch forward, notice that I'm not going to touch anything. You see how I'm losing altitude? And if I pitch back again, I will go back to that hover point. I haven't touched the throttle at all. When you pitch forward, you need to raise the throttle to maintain the same altitude because you're using, you're using some of your thrust to push you forward, so there's less thrust to push you up. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take off. I'm going to find a hover point on the throttle. I'm going to tilt forward, pitch forward, begin to fly forward, and then adjust the throttle to, to maintain the altitude that I desire. And if you like, as an exercise, you can try to see how close you can get to this mountain as you fly over it. You can adjust the throttle to get nice and close without hitting it if you feel like giving yourself a little challenge. Okay? And in fact, you can even you could even take off and I'm going to pitch forward slowly, slightly, go up over here. You can start to play with your altitude a little. I'm going to come down. I'm not going to hit the ground though. I'm going to lower the throttle. I'm going to come down. I'm going to go over these bumps. Oh, I landed a little bit. If you get going too fast, like I'm going a little fast now, just pitch back and you will slow down. But don't pitch back so much 
that you find yourself drifting back. The reason for that is that you can no longer see where you're going and you're going to crash into something. So here's a good guideline. Uh, take off, pitch forward slightly. You're going to be flying forward now. If you're going too fast, pitch back slightly. But don't ever pitch back so far that you're moving backwards. You always, when you're flying FPV, want to be moving slightly forward. Hovering is actually really easy in the simulator. It's really hard to do FPV in real life. It's really hard to stay hovered over a certain point because you can't see what's below you. You can't see what's the side of you. And so in FPV, I always want to be pitched forward just a little bit and flying forward. Okay? Because then I can see what's in front of me. I can see what's coming. I know whether I'm about to hit anything. Whereas if I start, if I'm drifting like this, right, I can't see where I'm going. I can still maintain my altitude, but I notice I'm still using my throttle to maintain altitude. No problem. But I can't see what I'm headed towards. Okay? So whenever you're flying FPV, always try to be moving forward ever so slightly. Never stop, never go sideways, and never go backwards, at least in the beginning. Always try to be moving forward slightly because that sort of keeps, if I try and stop dead, if you try it, you will probably have a very hard time unless you're a more experienced flyer. See, now I'm drifting backwards. I need to adjust. There's all kinds of little adjustments that you have to do to get a stable hover. See what I'm having to do to get a hover? Just, it's, it's not something you should do when you first start out. See, I'm just barely hovering now. But if I just start to pitch forward, and set up a little flight path forward, it's pretty easy. And I can pitch back if I'm going too fast, but not so much that I start to move backwards. That's too much. Okay? If I'm going too slow, I pitch forward more. But I have to increase the throttle more to compensate for the change in altitude. All right, so that's your second, your second lesson is going to be take off, pitch forward very slightly, and continue to use your throttle to maintain altitude as you fly forward. Don't worry about turning. Just maintain altitude as you fly forward. And use pitch forward and back to control your speed. Pitching forward to go faster and back to go slower. But never get yourself in a point where you're drifting backwards or where you've stopped moving forward. Always be moving forward just the tiniest bit. Because hovering in one spot is actually really hard. But flying forward is actually not that hard. Okay? That's your next lesson. Give it some practice, and I'll see you for the next one.